Shalom, first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to, to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Bakar Kadash, uh, double honors to the elders for preaching this word, truthfully and sincerely, and Shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word, truthfully and sincerely as well, too. And I say uh, Shalom to the Akim out there. And this is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 7, and it reads through the Holy Scriptures. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. And this is a uh, news article in reference to uh, Matthew 24 and 7 that I'm about to bring out. So I'll lock you for that. Uh, let's see. That's it right here. And I believe I brought this out previously. Because, you know, at the uh, about four or five days ago, what happened over there in uh, between the Azerbaijan and Armenia, they had a little renewed conflict uh, happened over there. I believe it was like five people were killed, seven injured, I believe. And then this is a uh, another uh, recent news article. It's from uh, MassesPost.com. This is my first ever time hearing about this uh, website covering this news article uh, and it reads uh, U.S. intelligence com community warns of a renewed Azerbaijan aggression against Armenia uh, well, from the Washington D.C. Uh, the United States intelligence community is predicting a new armed conflict between Armenia and Azerbaijan the 2023 annual threat assessment of the U.S. intelligence community published by the officials of the Direct of National Intelligence noted that relations between Armenia and Azerbaijan are likely to remain tensions as a, 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 a occasionally, occasionally sloppy, uh, slip of the tongue words, occasionally volatile in absence of a uh, peace treaty given approximately of the uh, military forces at the interstate border the lack of a, the lack of a ceasefire enforcement mechanism and Azerbaijan readiness to use collaborate military pressure to advance its goals and talks with Armenia furthermore the report stated that September 20 I mean September 2000 I mean September 2022 uh, Algebraian forces launched a coordinated attack at multiple locations along the border, seizing some of Armenian territory. Such, conf such confrontations are likely to be limited duration and intensity. Since May 2021, which is two years ago, military clashes have occurred regularly at an interstate border and around the uh, Nagro. Karabakh region. The most intense flare up took place in September of 2022, which was last year, when Armenian forces launched a coordinated attack at multiple locations along the border, seizing some uh, Armenian territories and uh, resulting in a nearly 300 military deaths. Peace Peace talks have made some progress, but the most challenging issues relate to the state borders and the future of the uh, Nagorno Karabakh are far from being resolved. The reports reads in part. Yesterday, the spokesperson of the U.S. Department of Ned Price called the situation sensitive. It is a situation that is too far from prompt to violence, as we have seen in recent days in the Nelgar region. And it is a long-standing conflict that the United States will like to do everything we can to support the resolution. It says, uh, Price said, 
he added that the United States is going to continue to do that by working bilateral with these countries, trilaterally with Armenia and Azerbaijan, supporting their own efforts to add dialogue and diploma diplomacy, but also though all uh, appropriate mechanism to help these countries themselves conduct the diplomacy uh, and read the agreements that will help that they will be able to make okay so I'm gonna bring it out again and this is Matthews 24 and 10 I'm gonna bring it out again for edification sake for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom and there shall be famines and earthquakes in diverse places and I'm gonna bring out Matthews 24 and 6 so this is a uh, possibility of tensions might get renewed and stir up between both sides so that's what you call a uh, rumor of war It says, this is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Right, because you're going to hear more similar situations of uh, two nations having hostility towards one another. And, you know, according to the uh, U.S. intelligence uh, community, warns of a renewed aggression. I mean, renew Azerbaijan aggression against Armenia. In previously, in the month, in in the year of April 2022, you have clashes. In the month, in the year of May 2021, you had clashes between these two nations. So they have a history of clashing against one another. Definitely, of course, uh, across the uh, border of uh, the narrow goal the Narago Karabakh uh, border between the two of Azerbaijan and Armenia, you know. So there's been a on and off uh, conflict between these two. So according to the uh, U.S. intelligence uh, community warns of a renewed Azerbaijan aggression against Armenia. So this might, might be a potential escalation increasing once again, but we'll have to wait and see, you know how it plays out, you know, but, you know, goes into the Matthews 24 and 6, like the scriptures have stated, ye shall hear wars and rumors of war, so this is a uh, rumor of war, you know, of a possible escalation might increase uh, once again between these two of Azerbaijan and Armenia, which they had uh, in the past, had, and as of recently as well, to have conflicts with one another, you know, so this is a uh, keep an eye on as well too, you know. So with that, uh, hopefully this uh, sit down lesson was edifying. I would like to give all praises and glory and honor too to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Uh Double honors to the elders for preaching this word truthfully and sincerely, and shalom to the Akim scattered through the four corners of the globe preaching the word truthfully and sincerely as well too. And until next time, I will say uh, shalom.